all three uncles sent to countryside for 10 years. And you were allowed to come home once a year. That's it, once a year? Yes. My grandma cried every time when my uncles, my special, my favorite second uncle came home. I always want to see him. He was sent to the um, rural countryside near Burma, you know, in southwest China. And uh, grandma will always cry when he leaves. I remember I was uh, still in elementary school. I gave him nine pennies and nine pennies. <laughs> Saved up from Chinese New Year. Some say, oh, uncle, you'll be gone. I only see you once a year. Here, take this. He cried too. Okay, and uh, he come home, no wife, no job, no skill, no high school diploma. And only were allowed to come home if you're single. If you get married in the countryside, your household registration will be in the countryside. If you marry somebody in the countryside, you were not allowed to come back to the cities. For that reason, none of my uncles took a wife from 17 to 27. And he came home, had to rent on friends or arrange to meet somebody to get married. Because you have nothing, you don't know anybody, then time is running out. He had to start to date people. Then subject to one child policy, he had one child, my, my, my cousin. So, but a lot of those generation people though, red guards, some of them still not awake because you don't know the truth. They were talk about their life. They were laugh about it. My uncle is very bitter, but still they don't know the truth. I have my family ask me, to mow Mao's death every December on his birthday. Mao died in 1976. He's wow. a mass murder. But my family say, let's take a one minute to have a memorial for him. Human sorrow, human tragedy. And uh, I really, I just become speechless. I cannot tell them when did the one-child policy start? <clears throat> In the 80s. In the 80s? Yeah. When under Mao, it's kind of weird. Under Mao, Mao said, uh, be a mom is glorious. Have as many kids as you want. I remember my Chinese teacher had nine kids. No birth control. Because he said, uh, we got to show the world. We have lots, lots of people. And... Uh, I heard he had no compassion when people crying, hold his hand, kiss his hand, telling him about poor families. He no smile and no laughter. When people told him during a, a so-called mass famine, like people are starving to death. He had no reaction. We got lots of people. Yeah, 20 million, no big deal or something like that. I don't know if it's true or not. It's very scary that somebody like that, people worship him like a god. But he has no, he has no respect to human life. And uh, but then all of a sudden, he died, and the Communist Party had a new leader, and uh, they wrote into law, say, push for one child policy because the China economy was just about to collapse completely. And uh, after Mao's death, and uh, Deng Xiaoping said, uh, let, let, let some people get rich first. Let's reboot our economy. And, uh, and it's also country population growth. They blame bad economy on too, too big population. Too many people. Yeah, too many people instead of uh, it's your political ideology, your system completely failed. Well, people in this country might say that's not real communism. <laughs> you know, how many people have to die to prove to you real communism, socialism works? <laughs>